Okay, first thing you need is a pair of scissors, a stopper with a coiled piece of copper in it. It's coiled up into like a little spring, a piece of magnesium, a ruler, a thermometer, a plastic funnel, small beaker, 250 mil beaker, three molar hydrochloric acid, some deionized water, a ring stand, a burette clamp, and then the udiometer. The udiometer is a large graduated tube that on one end it is closed and on the top end it is, is open. And it looks like a big test tube, but it's graduated. It has markings on it to tell you what volume it is from what is now the bottom up. So first thing you need to do is add your hydrochloric acid. Add between 10 and 15 mils. Put the funnel in the top so you don't make a mess. Hydrochloric acid is pretty potent, so you don't want to burn yourself. You're going to pour some in and you're going to add between 10 and 15 mils. Use the graduations on the udiometer to do that. You do not need to use a graduated cylinder to determine that. I think I need a little more. So add it to us between 10 and 15 mils and you're good. Next, you want to put deionized water into the udiometer. So you're going to add, use your squirt bottle and you're going to fill the udiometer with water. Now do this very slowly so that you don't mix the hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is slightly more dense, it'll stay at the bottom. Um, but if you mix it too hard, it won't. You fill it until you get a surface tension bubble. That's the surface tension bubble. It's got a, a little fill. Now you need to measure the magnesium. Use your ruler to measure the magnesium and find out how long it is. It looks like that one's about 2.4 something, 2.45 maybe. Now here's the hard part. You're going to put your piece of magnesium into the wire cage. So you're going to stuff it into one of the little openings and then you're going to bend it until you can stuff it in again and then you're going to bend it again like an S until you can stuff it in again and you keep doing that until the entire piece of magnesium is in there like it'll look something like that. Now you're going to take the udiometer and you're going to add that copper cage and the stopper into the top. Some water is going to come out but that's okay. Press it on, but don't too hard, nothing's gonna stay in there. Now take your finger and put it over top of the hole at the top, and then flip the udiometer over, keeping your finger on the hole, put the udiometer top into the water. Once it's in the water, you can remove your finger and clamp it into the ring stand. The hydrochloric acid is more dense, so now that it's flipped over, it will start coming down and reacting with the magnesium. You'll see a fizzing going on when that happens. That fizz is the hydrogen gas being collected in the tube. This step is going to take a little bit of time. I say maybe five minutes before it comes to conclusion, but you want to go until it stops fizzing anymore and then let it sit for like five minutes. You want to measure what the pressure is. I'll give you that in the room. And you want to measure the temperature of the water find out how cool the water is or you can just measure the temperature of the air it really doesn't matter um, if you do it very quickly the water is going to be closer to the temperature of the gas if you take your time the air is going to be a temp temperature of the, the gas once the reaction is stopped measure the volume use the udiometer measuring from the top and then finally the last thing you need to do measurement wise is measure the height of the water tower inside the tube. Notice that the level in the tube is not equal to the level in the beaker. So you're gonna take a ruler and measure how high that tower is in millimeters. Measure in millimeters and record that data. So here's the data that I got for this one. My magnesium is one point... Oh, I should've stopped there, but anyway. That's all this lab is, um, hopefully, this can go well tomorrow in class. You guys have a fantastic day. Toodles.